Hey guys, EVP Man here, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Snapmaker 2.0. This is our part two video, but focusing on the laser engraving features. Now, we took a look at the actual 3D printing, and it does an amazing job. And now, I have to say that I'm super hooked. I'm just hooked on laser engraving. Let me show you what I did. So this is something that we just uh, we printed uh, on the channel. Yes, it's a cutting board. It's a bamboo cutting board. And yes, it's been personalized with EVP man style type content. Our, uh, some of our figures when we were established as a channel. And I got to tell you, I'm hooked with laser engraving. Uh, so in today's video, we're going to take a look at laser engraving. I'm going to show you how easy it is to laser engrave. And also we're going to talk about an add-on that is a must-have add-on. Um, it's the actual enclosure that makes laser engraving and even wood carving a snap. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now, before we take a look at the enclosure and also the engraving process, I wanted to share with you some of the things that we've been engraving in the house. And I am addicted to engraving. Nilda has to stop me from grabbing anything around the house and saying, no, you can't engrave that. Uh, because literally, there's just so much stuff that you can do with it. So here, what you're looking at is a standard bamboo cutting board uh, and literally what I did is I went into Photoshop this is really simple right I typed in the number of subscribers that we have right now on the channel put in the channel name and when the channel was established in 2010 and then the number of views that we have and I basically took this from Photoshop put it into the Snapmaker software and then you know just had the laser connected and ran it obviously there's some things that you have to do to just make sure that it's centered some alignment stuff but it's really trivial stuff it's not something that's really uh, difficult to do and this is what I got and I'm telling you that this looks fantastic uh, so not only is it um, I would say burning because you, you can it is burning it's burning the wood but it's engraving the wood so if I put this in an angle here and I run my nails on it when you look at this area right here my nail is actually going into each one of these shapes that spell out uh, or characters that spell out EVP man over here this 153,000 subscribers is also engraved inside of the wood so it's actually going inside of the wood over here the same thing with each one of these it's actually engraved now you're not just limited to, I would say, etching and engraving wood, but there's a whole host of, of solutions that you can work with. You can work with cork. Uh, there's other types of woods that you can work with. You could also work on metal. You can uh, engrave coasters, so I don't know, or, or even those tumblers, right? Those tumblers that have kind of like, um, that are metal, right, that you see everywhere. You can actually personalize that and give that as gifts. Uh, and take a look at this one right here. So here is something that you'll see in the video towards the end. This is actually a cleaned up version of the coaster that we just printed. So EVP Man Tech Reviews in cork, right? And so this is all in cork and this is engraved. So it's actually burning away um, part of the material. And then over here, the logo that you see right here, this is also etched, right? So it's actually engraved as well. Now, all you have to do is once you burn anything or engrave anything, you just wash it off. And then any kind of, I would say, burn material or I don't know if you want to call it soot, whatever is left on it just washes off. And this is what the end result will look like. Now, these are the two things that I did which are appropriate to the channel, but there's other cool stuff that you can do. And my kids are, you know, our fans. And this is one of the ones that we also did as well. And you'll see this on my Instagram channel as well. Uh, this is something that we just took it, centered it, ran it, and look how clean it looks, right? So literally, I just uh, can't say enough how limitless or endless the the experiences when it comes to being able to create with this device. You can go from 3D printing to now laser engraving, and it does a fine job, great resolution. Um, and then the next thing we're gonna be taking a look at is the actual CNC, which is kind of like wood carving. So next, let's go check out the machine. Let's talk about the enclosure and why that's something that you'll wanna pick up. And again, some of the creations that you can make that I've been doing with this. So you'll see how quickly I was able to make this coaster. Now, before covering the laser features, I wanted to highlight the actual Snapmaker enclosure. Um, I highly recommend that you consider picking up an enclosure for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's going to help control the noise, right? So it's going to reduce the noise factor that's coming through the actual printing activities and even the noise that comes from the power unit. So I have everything in my enclosure. The second thing that I'd highlight is that if you're going to be printing other materials like PETG, and you want to make sure that they are not susceptible to a lot of air movement or excessive cooling and you want to be able to print at a higher temperature then this enclosure is going to be fantastic for that as well now the third thing is when you start doing laser engraving 
when you do laser engraving, there is burning that takes place and there's a smell. So the case helps with that. Now, the case does have an extraction fan that you can use to extract the, I would say, the smoke that is being created by the burning effect uh, out of your home. Or you can actually connect a filtration system to it. So I'm going to show you my filtration system in a couple seconds. So it's going to reduce the noise, it's going to keep the heat inside of the case, and then it's also going to eliminate or really control the smoke that is being generated by the laser engraving process. But I would highly recommend that you either have it go outside of your home or you have some type of filtration system like the one I'm going to share with you. Now the other thing that this really does a really nice job um, at is also reducing dust. So if you start using CNC, and that's going to be our third video, and you start cutting wood, uh, there's going to be some dust. So this is going to control the dust factor. It's going to keep it inside. Now, as you look at the actual enclosure itself, and you can see how the enclosure right here has the actual, uh, I would say, control panel, you'll notice that the control panel is lit up, and it has a little picture of the, of the actual enclosure itself. The enclosure is also lit, so you see the two strips of LEDs going from each side lighting things up, which makes it really cool to manage and to look inside. So that's a nice feature. It also has, on, also on the control, the ability to enable or disable the fan system so that you can get the air out. So for example, if I'm going to be printing PETG and I want to keep the temperature um, higher in the actual uh, case, all I would do is I would turn off the fan. I would not have any extraction taking place so that the temperature can build up with the printing and it's going to give me a great print. Now the other thing that this is going to do, and you'll notice that the enclosure itself is tinted. Uh, well, that's not tint. That's actually laser proof, uh, I would say, or not so much laser proof, but it's laser treated, uh, I would say, uh, plastic that is enclosing your enclosure. So it makes it safe for you to look at the printing process because it's, uh, it's going to help shield your eyes or anyone who actually looks at the lasering process. So a lot of benefits of having this case and it also opens on each side. So on this side it opens and on the side it opens as well giving you easy access to the printer and everything inside. Now opening and closing the door is really simple. When the door opens the enclosure just collapse in that direction as you can see there. And then when I want to close it all I do is I pull it out like this slowly it has a groove system or track system that magnetically seals the door and then the door locks into place just like that. It almost pulls away from you. Let me show you again. I'm going to get close to it and let it go and it just snaps shut. Now the cool thing about this is that when you have this mechanism connected and there's some wiring that you'll see in the inside that's all the way at the back, it's basically connected to the control unit so it knows when the door is open and it knows when the door is closed. So if you have it open and you're lasering, it's going to stop. It's not going to allow it to happen because it'll detect that the door is open. When it's closed, your lasering or any kind of activity that's taking place inside will then continue. Now the Snapmaker 2.0 has multiple beds depending on the type of work that you're doing. Previously we had the bed that supported 3D printing and it was a magnetic bed that was easy to remove and it was something that would allow your prints to pop off really nicely. Now I have the bed that is for lasering and you'll notice a different material and I also created a small jig that is going to keep my cork coaster always in the same place. This makes it really easy if you're doing multiple prints like the same you want it always in the same place and you want to print repeatedly. So I just printed that out and I have it in place. Now. I have my job selected, it's already on screen, and what I'm going to do next is I am going to start the print process so you can see how this works. Now before you start any type of laser printing process, you want to make sure that your enclosure is closed and you can see that I have it closed for safety. You can also see through the glass that I also have the coaster in place. Uh, you see the logo that I'll be printing, my EVP Man Tech Reviews, and it has information about the laser power, the speed, you know, and how long it's going to take. So I'm going to go ahead and press ready. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the auto mode, the first mode. I'm going to hit, go into the homing position. All right, so it's going to go into the homing position, and that's basically where the laser position is going to be. It'll take a couple seconds for that, and then once it's done it, the next thing it's going we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and calibrate the overall position of the of the laser itself for this. So here it's basically indicating that the thickness of the material, which I already measured, is 9.8 millimeters. All right, and I'm going to hit next. It's warning me or, or advising me to wear goggles. I have it's in the enclosure, so we're safe. 
And now the next thing I'm going to do is determine what my zero position is. So if you think about the, your zero position, it's almost like if you were to take any object and then identify the smack dab center of it. Now I've already positioned this as I've been testing this out to be right in the center. And you'll notice that it stops right in the center so that I don't have to move it around. Now if you were using another product or let's say another, let's say for example that cutting board, I can jog it up, down, left, or right to adjust it, but that's right in the middle and I use these little um, these little spacers that you see here in that jig to get it right in place. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to press this button right here that says that that's the home position. Now if I want to double check to see if it's going to work based on the image that I'm going to print, I can press this button right here and what it's going to do is it's going to trace the area that this print is going to take place in. And remember, if this was the cutting board, it would be a much larger surface that it would do, but it's now looks pretty good. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit start. And as soon as I hit start, the laser process is going to start. You'll see here that's going to give me my percent, but then as we focus on what's going on inside, you'll notice that the lasering started taking place. And it's pretty fast. It really depends on your material. Now, this is not really designed for extreme cutting. So if you have thicker material, it's not going to cut through it. It's literally, it's for engraving purposes. There are much more powerful, uh, I would say, laser uh, devices that will cut through thicker aluminum, that will cut through thicker wood. This is really designed for light cutting and really nice engraving. But I will say that the overall quality is fantastic, and you're going to see this when this print finishes. You'll also see down here that we're actually, it's actually telling us the time. This is going to take about five minutes, so what we're going to do is we'll speed up this recording, but you'll be able to see the entire laser engraving process. Now that it's all done, let's take a look at the quality of our print. Check this out. Looks pretty spectacular. Look how clean that is. Fantastic. Now a few other things I wanted to share with you with the actual enclosure is that you'll notice that the power supply, I have it hung on my snap maker, right, so I can keep things quiet. And then here I have a, uh, a vent extractor. This is part of the snap maker enclosure. So it's sucking out all of the fumes, everything that's going on inside, and then it's pretty much uh, pushing it through this tube right here. Now you can connect this and have this go to the outside of your home. You can, but I have this uh, filtration system that I purchased and it basically does a really nice job of, you know, I would say doing away with all the smoke smell. Uh, so I don't really have a smell in the house, but just to be on the safe side, I have another filtration system that also deals with smoke right next to it. So while everything comes out of this tube right here, goes all the way up, and then falls into this enclosure, I then have that secondary system right there that is absorbing any residual smoke if anything were to come out. Now for those of you curious about where the filament goes and with the enclosure, it can mount it on the outside like you see here, but I also noticed that on the Snapmaker community that many people mount it inside. So you can have a mounting bracket um, somewhere here uh, that would allow you to have it inside the enclosure. Now I chose to keep my filament on the outside and have my power supply in the inside so I don't know if I'll ever mount it internally. But you can mount it here, I've seen some models and then I've also seen some individuals that have mounted it up in front. Uh, but you can check out the community to learn more about mounting options. So now what's the bottom line of the Snapmaker laser and also the enclosure? Again, highly, highly, highly recommend that as a must-have add-on and what can you say about this overall quality? This looks pretty fantastic. And it's not just um, burnt it on there like some people may think, but it's actually etched. So as I put my nail here on the on the logo right here, it's actually deep inside. There's a groove to it. And you'll notice that it has a little smudge, smudge here. Don't worry about the smudge because you can, with water, you, I wash off this actual coaster and that smudge will no longer be there. But it's an actual groove, so it actually cut inside of the coaster itself. I'm just in love with all the things that you can do. So guys, that concludes our laser engraving review of the Snapmaker 2.0. See you in the next one.